I wanted to come to you guys with a really fun glittery New Year's Eve look. When I think New Year's Eve, I think of like really dark smoky eyes with a bunch of glitter. So that's what I try to create. I try to do like a black cut crease with gold and silver glitter. And I think it turned out really, really pretty. In the video, I am wearing a different wig. I'm wearing a blonde wig, but I just feel like um, the gold didn't pop as much with the blonde hair. So that's why I just changed out my wig. So if you guys want to see how I got this glittery gold cut crease, keep watching. I have already primed my eyes, so do that so your eyeshadow can look bomb. And I'm going into my Tarlet in Bloom palette. Ooh, so pretty. Now going into that matte white color called Charmer, I'm going to start putting that right on my brow bone underneath my eyebrow. And then I wanted to set my face real quick, so I used my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent to catch any fallout. And then I also go back in with Charmer and put that in my inner corner. Next, I'm going into Flower Child, and I'm going to start buffing that into my crease. This will just make everything easier to blend out later. So now I'm going to go into Smarty Pants, which is just a little bit darker, and start deepening up my crease. I'm just going to work my way into it darker and darker. So next I'm going into Activist, which is way darker, and I'm going to start smoking that into my crease. This is going to take a bit more blending than those lighter colors because this color is so dark. So you want to just spend that extra time doing your windshield wiper motions back and forth, blending out as much as possible. Now I'm going into Smoke Show, which is the darkest color, and I'm going to start buffing that into my crease as well. And like I said, just take the extra time to really smoke that into there so it has a very nice fade. Next I'm going into Jet Setter, and I'm just going to soften up those lines and just make sure this is really as smoked out as possible. Now I'm taking three glitters. I'm taking silver, gold, and bronze. So pretty this mixture. And I'm taking my Too Faced Glitter Glue and I'm just putting this on my brush and I'm going to start like cutting out my crease with the glue. So instead of using concealer to cut out, I'm just going straight in with the glue because the glitter will cover everything. And then I'm packing the glitter onto that glue. So this will create my glitter cut crease without having to put extra shadows on my lid. So I'm just going to be doing the same thing on the other side. I obviously have a little bit of glitter still on my brush, but that's fine. I'm just covering it with glue. and then packing that glitter onto that glue and the glitter is so thick that you won't be able to see that I don't have eyeshadow on my lids and this glitter glue is bomb this glitter glue makes my glitter stay all day without moving it's not falling out it's awesome now I'm just gonna be wiping off my extra powder to get it off my face now I'm taking carbon by Mac and with a small angled brush, I'm just going to really define my crease because I wanted my crease to be as black as possible. You want to be really careful with this. So I'm just going right into that crease area so I have a really cut crease. Now I'm going into my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm just going to be doing a really nice wing. So I want it to be really skinny in my inner corner and slowly get thicker as I work my way out. And then I'm winging that out. I'm going from the tail and working my way in so it just looks really smooth. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I'm just going to be covering my top lashes so they can be nice and black. Now I'm going back into Charmer and I'm going to start putting this on my bottom lid. I do want my bottom lid to be super smoky too. And I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion, which is black. And I'm just lining my waterline. I'm doing it a little bit messy, not a big deal. Now I'm taking Smoke Show. And I'm going to be kind of smoking out that eyeliner a little bit. Because my eyeliner did look really messy, so this will just help smoke it out. I'm doing this with a little angled brush. And then with a fluffier brush, I'm taking Smoke Show again, and I'm really smoking out my bottom lash line now, and you want to spend the extra time blending. Now I'm going into Jet Setter, 
and I'm just really smoking out the bottom. I don't want any like harsh lines on my bottom lid. Now going into So F and Gold by Jeffree Star, which is a nice gold highlighter. I'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones. I will also be highlighting down my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow because those are the parts that I like to be highlighted. Now going into my Andrea 5 of a Kind 33 Lashes and my Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins. I'm going to be applying my fake eyelashes onto my top. And then just going over the lash line with that eyeliner just so I don't see any glue. Now I'm taking I'm Nude by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, their liquid lipstick. I'm putting this all over my lips so I can have some nice nude lips. This is very like pink toned. And then I'm spraying my face to set it with my Makeup Forever Fix and Mist O2. And then I want my lips shiny so I'm going back in with my Tartise lip paint in the color Hella just so I can have some nice shiny lips so they're not so matte. And we are all done. I love this look and I love how easy glitter cut creases are. I totally recommend them to someone who's trying out cut creases. It's so much easier than using like concealer to cut them out. Okay, and we are all done. So here's the final look. I really like this glitter combo. This is like super pretty, this gold with that like holographic kind of silver. Um, I did obviously end up changing my wig. I think I like the darker wig with this look a little bit better. So I just did a quick change. Luckily I do wear wigs, so I'm just able to change my hair color, you know, like that. Remember that you can also follow me all over social media. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at MSYX Makeup, the same way I am here. So I will leave all the details right here for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great New Year's Eve and you stay safe and be responsible. <laughs> I always have like a good message at the end of my videos. I'm like one of those sappy movies, I swear. But anyways, thank you so much for watching you guys and I can't wait to see you guys next time.